In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better performance and FPS boost in your games and overall increased performance on your PC by disabling few services on your Windows 10 and 11. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive straight into it. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. So first go to my website I give link in the description and download the FPS Boost Pack for Gaming and Performance and follow me. Click on your Windows search. Type PowerShell right. Click on the Windows PowerShell. Click Run as Admin. Click on Yes. Now here, you have to type a single command that you will be getting from the Boost Pack. So you can copy and make a right click here. And it will be automatically pasted. Now it will run for a few seconds. And then finally, it will give you this kind of tool dashboard. So here you get different kind of categories, like install twigs on fake. Update in microwave that is a new feature, which has been added to create a custom. Deep loaded copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Okay, so in this video we will be discussing about the twig. You will have to click on the twig section here. And on the top, you will find some recommended selection for desktop. Laptop, so depending you are using a desktop or laptop, you will have to click on it. And then below here, you get different kind of categories, like Essential Tweak Advanced Tweak. Customize Preferences and Performance Plan. Let the start with the Essential Twig. Now here, very first option you get Create a Restore Point. So I would recommend you that it should grow. And create a restore point, in case if anything goes wrong, or it doesn't work for you, then you can reward the action. Then you have run oh shut up. You have to give this check disabled telemetry. You have to give this check disabled Wi-Fi sense. You can keep this checked activity history. You can disable it. Delete temporary file run this clean up. You have to check both these options. Disable location tracking. You have to keep this check disable home group. You have to keep this check disable storage sense. So you can just uncheck this option. Disable hibernation. If you want to disable it then you can disable it. Game DVR it's really recommended. If you want to enjoy the gaming then disable it. And then you can just keep other option checked. Now in the advanced week. I won't recommend you to touch these for option. At the top OK. Keep this unchecked until you're not sure what exactly it is. Then you have the more option. Like remove all MSN store application. Now it's not recommended uh. That you should delete or remove any kind of Microsoft store application. Then you have Microsoft Edge. If you want to remove Microsoft Edge like me, then you can check this option. Then remove OneDrive, yes. I will remove it that classic right-click context menu. Then you can check this option. Then you have enable IP version 6. Disable IP version 6 and I would disable it. Now on the right inside you get customized preferences. Dark team if you want to enable, you can enable it being searched in a start menu. Then you can disable it you file extension. I won't recommend you to disable it. It's now passes fly out. Keep it to enable mouse exploration. If you really want to enjoy the gaming, then you can disable it. Sticky keys you can disable it performance plan. Now if you want to enjoy the ultimate power plan. Then you can go and check this option. And now once you are done, simply you will have to click on run to eggs. And this kind of PowerShell window will be up. And it will start working on the process that you have selected. And you also need to be in front of the computer, in case if it asks you for any kind of permission. Okay, so once all the tweak will be completed, you will be getting this message. Tweaks are being finished, and I'll simply... You will have to go ahead and restart the computer. N now next we have to disable many kind of services that run on your Windows 10 and 11 that are not used by majority of the user but is still there and in the background and slow down the performance. So click on your window search type services. The services box will be up. Now here I'm recommending you feel the services that you have to disable. Like first one will be assign access manager service. Double click on it startup type. Choose it to disable stop the service. Click on apply click on OK. Next is the bit locker service. As many of the people, they are not using the bit locker. And if you're also not using, double click on it. Disable it from the starter type. Click on stop click on apply. Click on OK similarly. 
If you're not using the Bluetooth services, then you can go ahead and disable all these Bluetooth services. Now next, you have the connected user experience and telemetry. Double click on it again, choose the starter type to disable. Stop the service. Click on apply, click on OK. And then you have to look for diagnostic execution service. Once you get it again, double click on it. Choose it to disable. Then you have to click on apply, click on OK. Do the same with diagnostic policy service. Double click on it, choose it to disable. Click on Apply, click on OK. And then you have to look for the geolocation or Download Maps Manager look for geolocation service. Double click on it and choose it to disable. Click on Stop, click on Apply. Click on OK and also look for Download Map Manager or Downloaded Maps Manager. Once you get it, double click on it. Choose it to disable, click on Stop. Apply and OK. Then you have to reward the sensor service. Disable it. Next, you have to look for the parenter controls. Again, just go ahead and disable them. Apply and OK. Now, if you need the detail information that why exactly we are disabling the services, then you can check my another video. I have already created them. I cannot brief you about each and every service because it will take a long time. All right, so now next you have look for the phone service. If you're not using it, disable them, click on Apply. Click on OK. Then you also need to look for Print Explorer. If you're not using any kind of printer service, but if you're using the printer, then you can skip this. Similarly, look for fax. If you find any service related to fax, disable them, then you have to look for remote desktop. Remote desktop services, double click on it. Choose it to disable, click on apply. Click on OK again. This for is for the people who are not using any kind of remote desktop service. They look for a smart card. Double click on it, choose it to disable. Click on apply, click on OK. Also look for Windows Biomatic Service. Disable them, click on Apply. Click on OK then. You have to look for Windows Data Reporting Service. Double click on it, choose it to disable. Click on Apply, click on OK. Then you have to look for Windows inside a service. And if you're not going to join any kind of Windows inside a program, then there is no need to keep the service enabled. Double click on it, choose it to disable. Stop the service, Apply OK. Then you also need to look for Wallet Service. If you're not using any kind of wallet service, any kind of application, then you can just disable them. Now part of these Windows services, if you get any third-party application service, like of McCafe, then you also need to go ahead and disable them. Once you are done close it and as a next step guys, I'm gonna recommend you the GR Booster, which you can trade for absolute with the free. link in description. Just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite, and it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game, which I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is, it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing. For the best DNS service, it's consistently also you. showing you the connection between your PC and the router. And the router and the actual game server so therefore as mentioned make sure you check with it the out. link in description and now we also need to clear all kind of junk and many kind of temporary files so that we can get enough storage on our device and we can also clean all kind of junk so first you have to right click on windows icon again click on settings from the left and menu option click on system then click on storage and it will be calculating the space occupied by all kind of categories the first you will have to click on contemporary file ready to list you that what kind of space has been occupied this will include your download section this will also include the recycle bin so whichever you don't need just check them and then click on remove file and doing so will be creating a huge space in your drive especially if you're using any kind of ssd once you are done you can go back and then you may find many other categories like document others you will have to click them one by one, whichever is occupying a lot of storage that you really don't need go ahead and delete them. Next click on your Windows search, type powercfg.sppl. Again identity. Now you'll find different kind of power plan. And it might be selected to balance or power saver. So I would recommend you to go and select the high performance. On the very right of it, you will find change plan settings. Click on it. Then click on Change Advanced Power Settings. This will ring up another box. Now here, make sure it's been selected to High Performance. 
Now here in the list below, you have to look for the PCI Express. Then click on the plus icon. You will find Link State Power Management. Again click on the plus icon. And make sure the setting has been turned off. You don't have to choose maximum power saving. Or moderate power saving you have to keep it to off. Then you will find processor power management. Click on the plus icon again. In the minimum processor state the setting will be 0%. Then click on maximum processor state. And in the setting keep it 200%. Now if you're using a laptop you might see an additional option of cooling. So you need to select to active. Now once you are done, click on apply.